friends, neighbors, and of course, the YouTube comments section. Welcome back. So I have a rare Saturday off, and on today's off Saturday, I have needed to tackle this project of modifying my network rack. Uh, so long story long, uh, I've been doing a lot of drumming this year, and I've been getting a lot of session calls. Um, and because my house is currently under construction, um, I've had to do the tracking in the basement. Uh, I would normally do tracking in the living room, uh, but our bed and closets are in the living room currently because we're remodeling our bathroom, closet, and bedroom. So I've been having just to do my sessions in the basement. And because I have to, enter, I have to engineer them myself, uh, the easiest way to do that is use my Midas M32C console uh, that is controlled by an iPad so I can set all the input gains and all that other kind of stuff. So uh, to make that work with the iPad, it needs a wired Ethernet connection. So to accomplish that, I've been using my stage Ethercon snake, my rat sound snake. Ooh, this is difficult to take out at this weird angle that I'm trying to show you on camera. Here, we'll do it like this. So basically, because this is an Ethercon connector, this has to go into the rack with this jack uh, to get it into a regular RJ45 environment. So for those of you not familiar with the Ethercon format, this is taking an RJ45 and putting it into what we call a Neutrik D series shell. This is a 15 16 inch uh, jack. This is common for um, audio lines. There's a lot of things that live in this format. Um, but basically, it's a ruggedized RJ45 connector. So um, I've built these previously. If you want to check and see a video on that, check the upper right-hand corner of your screen right now for that. Um, so the, the, the project that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding a receptacle, which is a jack like this. Uh, this is the Neutrik NE8MX. P6, I'm doing this off the top of my head, there may be a correction there. Um, we're gonna add this to the rack. I'm just gonna punch a hole right there. And then to further make it a little bit more dust proof, we're going to add the Neutrik SCCD slash W uh, cover over it so that when the jack is not in use, it doesn't get all cruddy. So basically what we need to do is because this is the longest way, I, this is a 150 foot snake that I have on a reel. Um, so instead of setting up a separate Wi-Fi network or, or bringing my network rack that I take to gigs and just having it out there, I've just been uh, using this. And then to keep it tethered, I have the side of the rack that's off and I loop this thing around here and it's just not very nice looking. Uh, especially for someone who is a system integrator for a living, I would just like a cleaner version of this particular thing. So we're gonna punch a hole in the side of this, mount this jack, mount that cover, and that way when this is all said and done, this cable can go into the rack just like that and it will be very nice looking. So let's get started and I'll show you how we do that. So the easiest way to drill a hole, especially a big hole, I mentioned previously that this is a 15 16 hole, which for those of you who are savvy with the North American measurement system, uh, it is 1 16th short of one inch. There are 16 16ths in an inch. So the way that this works uh, is it has a piece like this that is flanged and pointy, and then it has a secondary receptacle like this. So basically what you do is you drill a hole in the panel, and then you thread this bolt through, and this goes on the other end. So this is uh, made by a company called Greenly, which is a... Uh, company that makes things for the electrical world. So it is oftentimes colloquially called a greenly punch. So to do that, we will need a drill that has a large drill bit on it. So I am using a 3 8 drill bit for this. So I want to keep this thing close to the bottom uh, so that if we do ever want to add more, we can. So it's going to end up sort of kind of in this general vicinity down here. So I'm not super precious about this today. So let's see if we can just sort of find center. Oh, it's three inches. Look at that, nice and simple. So we're just gonna make a little mark here at an inch and a half. And we can just eyeballing this to see where we need to go. And that'll end up sort of at the bottom. So we'll just drill this hole. Okay, so that 
is our pilot hole. And let's see. So what we'll do now is we will stick our punch in here like this. Okay, and we'll get that nice and tight. And then we will use an impact driver with a socket attached to it to uh, just pull this through. So it'll go something like uh, this. And there you go. Not edited for time. That's how quick it goes through this. This is very thin. I don't know if this is steel. I would assume it's steel because it's very cheap. So there is a nice clean hole. Uh, so to get the holes to mount the connector in here, we will need an eighth inch drill bit and uh, we will get a level to make sure that it is relatively straight. So as I mentioned previously, this is the Neutrik SCCD-W. Um, this is cool, very uncommon, but we sell them occasionally for things. Um, and basically the way that it works is there's this little rubber gasket that's on the back of this. And then internally, there is a rubber gasket that goes around here um, and a pretty aggressive spring. Um, so I did make a video on this. Actually, one of the very first YouTube videos I've ever made was on this connector or this little cover. So if you want to check the upper right hand corner of your screen, you can check that out. Um, but the easiest way to mount this is to take the network jack, the Neutrik NE8MX, and put it in here like this so that it looks like that. And then put that whole assembly on so that it looks like that um, and then the tricky thing about this is that because the spring is so aggressive um, you need a way of propping it open so the easiest way to do that is to just take another screwdriver um, and stick it in there so i am now realizing that i'm so used to doing this with my shop tools my uh, little precision screwdrivers that i keep at lm um, are rubber and they stay a little bit better. Although actually, look, these little Home Depot Husky ones uh, are because they're, I don't know, is this a hexagon? I think it's hexagon. Let's call it hexagon for the sake of YouTube. It keeps it open. So all you have to do is stick a screw in there. I'm using, call me an honorary German because I'm using a Torx screw. These are a 440 screws and lock nuts. I do love the Torx screws. I think it is the superior drive there, I said it. Although, man, listen, I'm a, a man of Robertson. I love a Robertson drive. Honorary German, honorary Canadian, right? So we'll just get this guy started. I am missing my right angled, I am missing my right angled needle nose. I will tell you that with this particular install as much like anything do you want it to take extra long do it on film so not only is it precarious in here it's uh we got to film it and etc cetera, etc cetera. i'm sorry i'll stop complaining i appreciate you guys watching okay there we go look at this thing nice and nice and tight on there and then all we have to do to plug our connector in is open this guy up. And now we have a nice stage connector on our network rack. <laughs> so there we go. That is adding the, ooh, and it's much easier to get in and out of there too. And there we go. That is adding the Nortrek SCCDW and NE8MX6. I can't remember what this Jack's name is. So uh, in closing, if you, have a, if you want to see the details on the network rack, check the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Um, that is showing the uh, installation of the Ubiquiti gear, the UPS, just some general updates on that kind of thing. Uh, the other thing is if you are interested in buying any of these connectors, so the dust cover, the Cat6, or um, the, uh, the mating Ethercon connector, you can buy those from LM. Uh, I, do have or I do have links in the description below if you want to buy those from me. Um, 
If uh, you have any questions, obviously just drop a uh, comment below and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.